YouTube, it's Brie Hall, and I'm talking in this video. That's weird. Like, I usually talk for an intro, kind of, here and there, but I don't really, like, do talk through videos that much. I'm not anti-social, but, like, makeup is kind of zen time, you feel? Today, I'm doing my foundation routine, and I figured I'd talk through it a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. So, um, you guys requested it. Right now, I just have eyeshadow on, looking a little crazy. First thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. I don't always prime my face, but like, it's summer, so I can't always be doing that. So it depends on the day. My two primers that I go back and forth between is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, not sponsored, and then my um, Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. Since I used the Glossier in my last video though, I'm gonna use Smashbox today. So I'm gonna cover my eyes since they're uh, already kinda done. Get your neck too, like, got your neck, got your neck. But no, like, get your neck when you're priming, because that's, like, really important. So after your face is primed, um, or whatevs, sometimes I'll put, like, a serum on or whatever, but like, today, meh, not really. I have a couple favorite foundations, but the one that I've been reaching for a lot has been this NYX um, Total Control Drop Foundation. You don't have to drop it on your face, but, like, I just feel like everybody does it, because it's low-key fun. Like, I'm weird, so I, like, in... <laughs> This sounds so weird. Okay, but yeah, like I just drop it because it feels like face paint or something. I get the drip from my wall. I get the drip from my wall. I just oh yeah. I'm taking see this is how much I don't do top beers. This is loud. So oh no. See this drop. Okay, I'm taking this buffing brush. This is Sedona Lace FB07. Elf has some really good buffing brushes if you're on a budget. The reason I like this foundation for summer is because it like it has like this really nice matte finish. It doesn't go oily on me. Another thing I'll do when I'm doing my foundation is I'll take my septum ring and I'll like flip it up. Back in the day when I used to wear my septum out all the time, people would be like, where'd your septum go? Did you like let it close or take it out? And I'm like, nah, y'all. It flips up. The forehead's always the weirdest part to lend. Like, I, I'll get it better later with a sponge. Yo, I am talking to you. Maybe not you, per se. Like, you might know this, but, like, I am talking to the people that don't put foundation on their neck or blend down. I just put a little drop. Bro, like, guys cannot be walking out in the street. Like, it masks all. Foundation is all blended out. I would call this a medium coverage foundation but it can be very full coverage if you build it which i like y'all i finally got on the wave like i was i was resisting because i love tart but i was just like is it gonna be worth the hype is it as good as people say and y'all it is the shape tape concealer like this stuff is the truth all right so here's my trick that i do for my skin to look super seamless i get like a concealer that's like dumb light it's way too light for my skin so i'll take some concealer on my hand and then i'll take two drops of my foundation and I'll mix the really light concealer with my foundation shade. I don't have this obvious, like, crazy looking change going on between my concealer and my foundation. And when I mix it, it like turns into this. It's still very light. It has the same undertones as my foundation is what I'm getting at. So like, that really does help when your concealer has the same undertone as your foundation and you're blending it, it looks very seamless. All right, so I just kind of dot it on all crazy like and then I put a little bit on my chin and then I put a little bit on my forehead and I just dot it in this like windshield motion bam I have a tiny forehead y'all like I got a three head <laughs> I'm not mad at it though and then I put a little bit under my jawline so now that that's done I'm gonna take my buffing brush and I'm gonna go in and just buff out all the areas except for under my eyes Oh yeah, this is another place I like to put concealer. I put a little bit right here, because I like that area to be a little bit lighter too. Okay, and then I'm gonna squeeze the brush a little bit so I can go in to my forehead area, bow. All right, so then I'm gonna take this baby blender, it's a baby, and I'm going to blend i was just using this blender to like blend out my under my brows when i was doing them earlier but what i strongly strongly advise is when you're doing um a full face or a fresh face anything like that clean make sure you're using clean brushes and clean sponges because the buildup from like previous makeup is what ends up giving you that cakey messy like you know what i mean that muddy kind of look to your makeup because you have like six dried up layers of 
old product on there and then you got wet product. It's just a hot mess, like you don't wanna do that. Oh yeah, and to get like your eyes really good, I look up and I really like actually go all the way up on my lower lid. And then any extra, I kind of just run it up my nose. A lot of people will just put that line there. I do that too, but like, this is my realistic foundation routine, like what I really, really do. These are usually, if you want bigger sponges, they're usually called body blenders. So if you're looking in an altar or anything, just ask somebody if they have body blenders. I think Real Techniques. Oh, I thought it's burp. Okay, Real Techniques sells them. And then I just blend, I use this to kind of really blend out my um concealer and stuff and as you can see this is what's gonna make it look a little bit more skin like and you might be like Bree that looks crazy because you just have this light shade and then like foundation we do not stop there uh, this is going to be my foundation routine for like a glamorous look this isn't necessarily my everyday but oh yeah so I'm gonna take the Ruby Kisses 3D uh, contour artist cream palette and I'm gonna take Kind of like a mixture of these two shades. I used to see people do this on Instagram, but this really, really helps. If you take like a drop of oil or something, um, like liquid luster, anything, and you put it on your palette, it really makes creams like blend. But this is a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops, and they look like this. They're like all goldy and stuff. Take a flat brush and just really get as much product on your brush as possible. And you see, this is what it looks like. This brush is uh, BH Cosmetics number five. From the ear to about right there, that's where I usually take my um, a little contour shades. And then what you're gonna do, the best trick is to do a three. So I'm gonna take just under your hairline. You don't wanna get it all up in there, but take, I just do a little, maybe. So it's like, boom. And you're gonna go down and carve out your jaw. So it literally makes a number three. And then I always do like right under my lip because like I naturally have some shadow there. You're gonna take this big sponge once you've done that and just blend forever. Blend until your hand gets tired. And then, all right, when I get to my forehead, I blend gently around my hairline, but I do push it back into the hairline just a little bit so it doesn't um, have like like this kind of crazy skin showing area and then, and then your contour shade. Wow. So then um, I kind of do circular motions here just to make sure. Blending is key. And if I missed anything like that I don't see on camera, I'm gonna show you guys how to make sure that you don't get flashback with your photos or like how to make sure your foundation is blended seamlessly. To bake under my eyes, I usually use Bed and Eye Banana Powder or Cover FX Powder. I always use these disposable makeup sponges mainly because they're so um, precise. Like, look at that. That's how I get my um, baking to be like really cutting edge. What you'll notice with any concealer kind of, if you wait a little bit, it starts to crease a little. So my little tip is I usually take either my finger or a blending sponge. I look up and I just tap that. And while I'm tapping it, in my other hand, I have my powder. And then like a ninja, I set immediately. And this is the point that you don't want people walking in on you while you're doing your makeup. Cause you're gonna look a little crazy. And I take what's left of the banana powder and I kind of just I tap it into my chin, and then I take the flat part of the sponge again, and I just kind of set right above my brows in my highlighted area. So I'm going to use that mystery product that I've been talking about in other videos. This is not sponsored at all, and I'm going to take a big old brush. This is by Marc Jacobs. I'm going to use this other mystery powder that I've shown in like a couple videos already, and I'm going to just use that to dust away my other makeup. I always get compliments on my makeup when I use this powder. Bam! Alright, so then, we're almost done, y'all. Like, oh, talking videos feel like they're, they take forever. So if you're still here, I applaud you because, like, I be clicking out of videos while I'm talking sometimes. Y'all should know this already because I, like, I use this palette in every video. I'm sure people are probably tired of it. But this is the Black Radiance um, Contour Palette. I use this more than Anastasia. Like, it just... 
it looks so bomb in pictures it gives me no problem a lot of people when they do my makeup they try to contour me with cool tones but since my skin is warm toned, it ends up looking kind of gray. So go in that same three shape you were doing. And I just get my jawline really good. You just want a brush that's like thin, kind of like this. For nose contour, you don't want to go too dark on your contour because it looks really muddy and kind of scary. The reason I think nose contouring is important is just because when you add foundation, you lose all the definition in your nose. I like snatching it back, you know what I mean? This one is from Luxie and it's the flat angled blender brush and I'm just gonna go in kind of like these motions that are downward and slash. You want a really dense brush because that's really gonna buff this out. So this is the Her Face Palette uh, by Karuchi and ColourPop. And it's Femme Rosa. And I'm going to take this pink shade. It depends on the day. My blush shades kind of change. I like liquid blush a lot, but for the purpose of today's video. And just, I just smile. Tap it on my cheek. Tap, tap it on my cheek. Tap it on my cheek. Tap, tap. All right, so what I do to get rid of the powdery dustiness is I take a setting spray. Affordable option is the L'Oreal Infallible um pro spray and set this is bomb if you have oily skin this is going to keep you matte and then i also use my um urban decay setting spray by skindinavia the all-nighter i was gonna go out and buy skindinavia setting spray and then one day i was looking on the back of my urban decay i'm like oh it's by skindinavia okay so this one kind of sprays horizontally so I like do this. I go in a downward motion when I spray so I don't get those water droplets. Major, major key if you want your foundation to look skin like. This is a major key. Take that flat brush you used for um, buffing or whatever earlier. And once your setting spray is just about to be finished, like it's not all the way done, take that and you just lightly tap over your whole face like really quick don't stay on one area too long because then it won't um, be as effective it, it, it adds a little teeny bit of texture to your foundation and this is what uh, I find in person makes it look very like skin like and then I'm gonna go back into that ColourPop palette to do everybody's favorite part the glow and I like I've been really feeling golden glows and golden glows recently so I'm using this golden glow shade and for summer, especially being a woman of color, I just feel like the gold pops. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm gonna blend that out, guys. Don't, don't come for me. Or come for me, it's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take flat top brush again. And if you ever put too much highlighter on, this is the key. Just take a flat top brush or something you use to put your foundation on and just tap away the outsides. Just drag it down my nose. That's how you really snatch your nose, bruh. Look at that golden mustache. Okay, so that's how I do my foundation, guys. Um, this is for a glamorous look. For anybody that might say, that's a lot of steps. You know, that's this is like, like snatching your foundation, you know? All right, so I'm taking my setting spray again, and I'm... And then I'm going to go ahead um, off camera and just do my liner and put some lashes on. And then I'll come back. Alright guys, so this is what my makeup looks like when all my foundation is complete or whatever. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about the talk through videos. I want to do more of them. Oh wait, muscle milk. I worked out today. I feel good about life. But thank you guys so much for watching my channel. We's Audi, five stacks. Alright, peace out y'all. Gang gang. Gang gang! Gang gang!